Hey everyone and welcome back to Hoffman Engineering. Today I am at the Tampa Hackerspace and I have a project that involves the laser cutter and a box of cheap IKEA glasses. Now the problem that we come across is the laser cutter is designed for cutting flat surfaces. But as you can tell, an IKEA glass is cylindrical. So how do we etch something on a cylindrical surface using a laser cutter? Well, luckily we have a special tool for that and it's called a rotary turntable, where this will replace that flat bed. And this is basically a computer controlled lathe that lets us mount our glasses onto it and then we can laser etch those cylindrical surfaces. So let's go take a closer look at this thing. So the rotary attachment itself is actually pretty simple. On one end, we have a motor that gets connected to the laser so the laser can control it. And that motor is attached to this cone. Then on the other end, we have a movable tailstock that also has another cone on the inside. And what this lets us do is we can take whatever cylindrical object we want to engrave, we can insert it so that it's firmly up against the, uh, the moving cone, and we can slide that tailstock up so that it's firmly inside. And then there's this little lever that we can use to lock in that tailstock. And now that this is firmly making contact with that cone, when the motor spins, it moves the entire object with it. And so this lets us uh, cut and engrave on these cylindrical surfaces. But you may be wondering, it must be really complicated to make a design that accounts for that cylindrical surface, right? It must be a pain. Well, they actually make it pretty simple. Let's, let's go take a look at it. So normally the laser cutter can only engrave flat surfaces, but that makes it really easy to design for because most of our design tools like Photoshop, Inkscape, etc are 2D design tools. So we can just design it on a flat surface and then the laser cutter can go and engrave that with no problems. But if I now want to engrave something that's cylindrical, well, do I have to go and model this cylindrical surface and then you know, use some crazy CAD in order to wrap Hello World around the glass itself? Well, we can actually think about this as if we take this glass and we wrap it around this piece of paper. Now, if I roll this glass and I wrap it around, well, we now have a cylinder for this sheet of paper, and we see that Hello World is wrapped around the outside of that cylinder. So what this means is that we can actually design, make our design in 2D, and then using this rotary turntable, it lets us wrap that around the object. So all we need to know is we need to know the diameter of the glass, so that way we know the circumference uh, for our design. And then now that we know that uh, circumference, we can make the design that wraps around that glass perfectly. So let's go get this installed in the machine. It's easy enough to install in the machine. You just have to remove the old flat honeycomb bed surface and insert the new rotary attachments and then plug it in and we're good to go. So now that the rotary attachment is installed, we can see how it works. With the laser on, we can see the little guide laser because it's not gonna actually fire with the cover open, but we can see the guide laser is directly over the center of rotation over here. And if I move the laser in the X direction, you can see that it just moves back and forth. It moves directly along that line of rotation. But if I go and I move it back to the cone, and I try to move it on the Y direction. So normally this would move the laser forwards or backwards, but with the rotary attachment installed, if I try to rotate the Y, you can see that it actually moves that rotary attachment and it spins whatever object would be in, this, uh, in the little lathe here. So that means that this machine is treating the outside surface of whatever we're engraving as that Y direction and it just translates that into an angle that this rotates on. So it's actually pretty simple. So let's go make some designs and start cutting some things. So all we need to know to make designs for this cylindrical object is the diameter, because with the diameter, we can calculate that uh, circumference, and that tells us how tall our y-axis can be. So I'm gonna get, since this is a not a straight-sided glass, but it's relatively straight sided. I'm gonna get the diameter in the middle of the glass. And that looks to be about 
2.7 inches. Uh, so we will take that, we will multiply it by 2 pi times half this diameter, 2 pi r, and that gives us the circumference, and then that gives us our y-axis. So here we are in Corel Draw, and we know that when this is mounted in the machine, that the long surface is going to be our x-axis, so that's going to be the long surface, the horizontal here in Corel Draw, and we know that the diameter here is going to be our y-axis. So what we need to know is we know the diameter of the glass, so now we need to adjust our page size so that the height is actually the circumference of this glass. So we know the diameter is 2.7 inches. Half of that is going to be the radius. And then the uh, formula for that circumference is 2 pi times the radius. So I'm going to multiply again by 2 and multiply by pi, 3.1415. And that gets us 8.48 inches as the height of our y here. So that way, when we design for this and we put everything within that 8.4 inches, that it will wrap around the surface with no problem. So here's the final design I'm gonna try. This is for the NASA Space Apps Challenge, which is a weekend hackathon that we're gonna host here at the Tampa Hackerspace. So I wanted to laser engrave a couple glasses with the Space Apps logo and the NASA logo on it. So the blue lines are the length of our glass. So everything between those blue lines uh, represents the glass that we want to etch. And then the uh, vertical is the diameter of that glass. So what this hopefully will mean is that on the top surface, on one side, we'll have the Space Apps logo, and then it will rotate the glass, and then on the back side, it'll engrave the NASA logo. So hopefully we'll end up with a pretty cool two-sided uh, two glass here. So now's the fun part, let's get to engraving. So here's the laser engraved glass. And the way that glass etching works is that the laser actually fractures the glass and causes it to break apart. And so what we need to do afterwards is take a brush or something and actually brush away all of that exploded glass. So if you take a look here at the A, you can see that some of it's actually chipping away already. And so that's what we want to do, because right now this is all like really rough, uh, actual like broken glass. So we need to go here and brush it apart to get all of that broken glass out of there. So I'm gonna be doing this for a few minutes and uh, we'll come back once all of this has been cleaned up. And you can see in a little bit more detail, like in the E, where some of that has been scraped apart, same with the A, um, there's still a little bit of glass remaining in there. So that's what we're trying to do, is just break apart any of that chipped glass. So here's the final results. Here are the two glasses that I cut. Uh, the first one with just the Space Apps logo, and the second one with the Space Apps logo, and the Tampa Hacker Space logo. And this rotary attachment is awesome. It was easy to use, easy to get everything set up, and the results are amazing. So I can't wait to try out what else I can put into this rotary attachment and what else I can try out with a laser cutter. So thank you all for joining me as I learned how to use this rotary attachment. If you guys have any ideas for awesome things that you would like for me to put in this rotary attachment, uh, please put those ideas in the comments down below. I would really love to hear what you guys think. And if you haven't already, click that subscribe button so you're notified of all of my upcoming videos because I'm going to be doing lots of awesome projects like this. And as always, thank you for watching and I'll see you all next time.